uh, we must uh, remember that these are public offices. All right? Uh, and we serve uh, through the wishes of the Kenyans that they voted them in those offices. So when somebody uh, is in that office, uh, you must present yourself in that manner. Don't try and make it an exclusive club. All right? So, so what, what we are seeing is that uh, when people talk about betrayal here and there, there, there are people who are feeling that perhaps there are some benefits that were supposed to accrue because of some in, uh, exclusivity. Uh, but all of a sudden, uh, the, the, the reality is that Kenyans feel that uh, their government should be a more inclusive government. So these are the lessons that uh, we, we, are, we are picking up from here. Uh, and on the other side, let me just be very, very clear. Uh, the issue of, uh, because this has come up a, a number of times, attending uh, a wedding uh, is a very, uh, that's a family related issue. Uh, the way somebody would come and attend a funeral uh, if somebody is bereaved. So I don't think we should use that as a basis uh, to judge political persuasion or political affiliation. Uh, sometimes we have to respect certain things. Even in, even in a state of war, uh, the, 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 the message used to be that uh, you should never attack uh, women and children uh, in a state of war. So, so those of us who are politicians, we must, we must keep away the element of the families.